ball to stop the clock if you pick up the first down inbounds. Under a minute left. Gerback in trouble. Gets away from Smith. Gets a block. Throws to Ponson. Ponson tackled at the 20. Short of the first down. 45 seconds. Clock running. It'll be fourth and a long one. The drive to stay alive for Kansas City. Clock running against them. And you've really got to take your time on this play because it is fourth down. And then you can spike it and then throw a few in the end zone. Elvis Gerback being talked to in his headset by the coaches. The coaches are calling these plays from the booth and in the sideline. Needs at least one. Goes for something long. Tip incomplete. And the Denver Broncos will advance against the Steelers on the road in Kansas City. Elway and Denver has denied Schottenheimer again. The Bron I mean, the Kansas City Chiefs go for the score on a play when it could be the when they need a yard to pick up the first down. They go with a double move on the outside, trying to get the score, thinking Denver wouldn't be expecting that play. Well, that was a gamble call, hoping that Denver would be looking for something short on fourth and one. And Marty Schottenheimer goes for the big score, but Denver had a double cover. You know who didn't get faked out at all? Steve Atwater. The, the, you see Gordon there, but watch number 27. That's right. Paul, Denver played it safe. They had everybody back. They do the right thing. Steve Atwater back because they know only a touchdown beats them. They really weren't worried about giving up the first down. The clock was on their side. Smart call by the defensive coaches for the Denver Broncos. And for Marty Schottenheimer, the number one seed in the AFC, memories from two years ago. It was Indianapolis who came in here when the Chiefs were 13-3 and, and had earned the top spot. And 10-7, to seven, the Colts came out with a victory with Jim Harbaugh, the captain comeback performance. Pat Bolin, the owner of the Broncos, with a pat on the back to Mike Shanahan. Shanahan, a wild card Denver team, winning last week against Jacksonville, and then 14-10 to 10 here in Kansas City today.